Good afternoon, everyone. This is Henry, and as we get into the free videos for tonight, I wanted to look at the move that we saw this week in Oxy. So this story for me really begins on Thursday where Sam, you guys know Sam from the videos in this channel, but he was uh, sending me a Slack message and he said, hey, what do you think about Oxy? Like, do you think this could be a point in time where maybe it is ready to go? Again, mind you, this conversation happening on Thursday morning. But when I flipped over and looked at it, there were a couple of things that I saw, and you can really work to study this just off of the basic trading plan that would include the squeeze, right? This is in think or swim, and then the voodoo lines, which you guys know from David and a big part of what I enjoy working with. But it's the idea that this begins to pique my interest. When you have that Thursday morning where you gap up with a good amount of strength and this fire line is recovered, right? Prices get above it and then you hold the pullback too. That is a pattern that I like inside that study set. And then I'm able to combine it with the momentum of the squeeze histogram. It was rolling higher throughout this entire period. So that looked good into Thursday afternoon and it had a pretty good close. Then look today, look at where it opened, right? Pretty much exactly at that level, spends just a few minutes making its decision and then explodes up here into 72. So, you know, this was the order that was posted into the room that David and I work in. And this was, you know, where we entered that trade on Thursday and then being able to flip it out today. Just, you know, I think where the technicals set you up before the news, right? Because, if, you know, depending on where you had bought it after the announcement was made, maybe there was some money to be made in it. But we really don't want to be chasing options in this move. You want to be able to buy them at support knowing that there is the potential for a directional move to occur because of the power of the squeeze. And then when those types of headlines hit, you know, I'll never turn down a little bit of a bump from our good buddy Warren Buffett. So it was an interesting way to round out the week. And then what I wanted to show you further in that is after you've worked that 60 minute setup, you've got a pretty significant move today that clears this 618 retracement, right? So it is the idea that if there was anything bearish to be said about it, that Oxy would stay below its 618 retracement. You can see that for weeks, that actually was a relevant level, but the day, uh, today, all in one fell swoop, clears that level to a very large degree. So that drastically enhances the probabilities of coming up to tag the old high and then move into extensions from there. So, like I said, a big part of the setups we were working with in this week, some of what I've seen most cleanly, and will be a spot that I'm looking for, you know, my next opportunity in Oxy. So, I hope that helps you guys with your analysis. Have a great couple of days away from the markets, and we will see how these open up on Monday. Hey traders, this is Henry with SimplerTrading.com. I wanted to thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful. And if so, be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons down below. If you would like to also see me putting these ideas into action and trading my own account live in front of you, be sure to sign up at simplertrading.com and I hope to see you in the chat room sometime soon.